Hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to take a look at r slash confessions, which I've never looked at before. So I'm interested to see what kind of things are going to be on there. Let's get straight to it. Uh, where's my mouse? Okay, um, I'm not going to look at the uh, not safe for work ones because I did click on one just to have a little look. Um, I was intrigued, but yet I'm not going to I'm not going to look at those. So then the first one, let's see, let's see. I steal from Costco every time I shop there and I need to quit. I love Costco and the products they sell. I've been a member for seven years and shop there weekly. Oh my God, there's like people shouting outside my window, sorry. Um, shop there weekly for seven years. So that's a hell of a lot of stealing. Um, I have so many wonderful memories there and look forward to the new ones. Damn, Costco is like important in your life. <laughs> um, fair enough. The products are staple in my household. It makes zero sense why I'd steal from a place that I love shopping at. Um, shoplifting a lot of the time isn't actually about need, but let's talk about that later. I've never been one to steal and I'm not bent to steal, yet once I started a few months ago, it became so easy and there's only one product I steal over and again and again and again. Will I ever get caught? Someday. How do I do it? I won't say how unless you DM me. <laughs> Just kidding. But what I steal are the organic Kirkland chicken thighs and or drumsticks. Wow, so not even like a small thing. I'm leaving Costco now and my conscience is killing me. <gasps> Why? <laughs> I mean, like I kind of alluded to it, but um, apparently a lot of the time when people shoplift or if they have like kleptomania or something, yeah, kleptomania um, is not about need. Obviously, there's some people who steal because of the need, but others don't. And it's more about like either just getting the rush, like they're kind of um, semi-addicted to the high that they get from, from shoplifting, whether they get away with it or not. And apparently like another reason people do it is like more of a cry for help, you know? Um, I remember there was a period where there were lots of stories about celebrities who shoplifted um, and obviously they have or had a lot of money but it wasn't really about that for them so it sounds as if maybe it's in a similar uh, it's a similar situation for the OP here. Um, they said they started a few months ago I would like to know why they started so suddenly so it's like they've been shopping there for seven years every single week um, but then all of a sudden they just decided to start stealing chicken drumsticks or something every single time. I don't know what to make of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if your conscience is killing you, like, and you can't seem to stop it, then maybe you should see someone about that. <laughs> but yeah, we're just in confession here now, so... Um, yeah, so it's not like advice where like they're asking questions or stuff like that. So let's take a look at another one. Let's see. I'm a CEO and I vet every new hire to make sure they aren't religious. Well, that's illegal. Um, I'm a CEO and I vet every new hire to make sure they are not religious. All new hires are finalized by me. Before an applicant is given an offer of employment by the hiring manager, I run through a flow diagram. Jesus Christ, <laughs> ironic. Um, I run through a flow diagram of detective work to find out if they are an enemy religious. If I find anything, the job is offered to the next suitable candidate. It's not just religion, anything else indicating low low intelligence or mental health issues you get blacklisted conspiracy theorists right-wing politics or basically any views that have been expressed without critical analysis rooted in scientific principles that you you op you are a fucking walking red flag like you're gonna say that like oh my god so you're so you're basically saying that being religious is for stupid people if you've got mental health issues then fuck you um if you have any sort of different opinion than i do then you're gonna get blacklisted that's ridiculous my doorbell's going but i'm not expecting anything so i'm pretty confident that it's not for me i get my doorbell rang so much for people who just like 
um, like the people aren't in and they just want to give me deliveries and stuff. Um, yeah, let's just hope that it stops, right? <laughs> As I say, I'm not expecting anything, so um, it's almost certainly not for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, getting back to this person, yeah, what they're doing is absolutely illegal and it's extremely judgmental. Like, I feel like this person is ironically very ignorant and feeding into conspiracy theories of, you know, people who are in positions of power doing shitty things to the underlings. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, it seems as if it's quite an obsession as well if they've actually got a flow diagram and they've got like all this criteria and stuff like that. Again, that's so judgmental. Um, just because somebody has a different opinion from you or has like a mental illness or believes in a deity doesn't mean that they're not going to be good at their jobs or that they're not a nice person to be around. <sighs> Let me know who this is so I can never ever work there. Oh my god, someone said, I approve, where can I send my resume? No, I hope that's a joke. That's like, oh my god. Probably a bit of overkill for the drones. Nah, whatever. Yes. Um, sometimes I'm confused if a person is male or female. I think this is going to be a big topic, so I don't really want to get into it, but at the end of the day as well. It's not really any of your business whether they're male or female, so long as you treat them with kindness, respect, and use their correct pronouns. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, I procrastinate on things and lie to others that I'm still working on. Mm. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm neurodivergent and procrastinating is a really big thing for a lot of people who have ADHD. So um, this is interesting for me. Let me see, let me see. I procrastinate on things and lie to others that I'm still working on it. Throughout my whole life, I've been a procrastinator and a dreamer. I don't stay focused and my mind wanders. Throughout my life, it's always been the same thing from my parents. How is your homework coming along? How is your college application coming along? How is your job search? Etc, etc. And I always lie that I'm doing good when really I'm not. But I never want my parents help because whenever they help me, their criticism is very destructive. And their criticism will only get worse for the amount of time I waste trying to get things done without success. And even while knowing that consequence, I still ignore it and continue to lie just to get them off my tail. I like to do things at my own pace without being pressured, but they're not okay with that and neither is the world. I need to break out of this habit soon. Ada, a lot of comments are telling me to get tested for ADHD. There's no need for that because I've already been diagnosed in my youth. There you go. I do have ADHD. It's always been an issue for me. I can barely make it through college. Well, you know what then? If you already know that you have ADHD and that this is a common issue with people who have ADHD, why don't you look at, like, what's the right word? It's not treatment because you can't cure it. But, like, why don't you look at something to address the, the symptoms and help you with your focus because you said that you don't want to do it and that you need to get out of the habit. Um, just from what OP said in the post, like I can kind of understand how it came about because it seems like their parents are very overbearing and they say they're being helpful but they're actually not, you know what I mean? Um, and it's possible that they maybe also don't really understand ADHD so maybe they're also not the most compassionate towards OP to the point where even though they may not want to lie, at the end of the day, it ends up being easier for them and it's like a compromise that they've decided to make, which is a shame. But yeah, I mean, there's definitely things that you can do to try and address some of uh, the symptoms of ADHD in general and also, you know, what you've talked about here. Um, they haven't said, or I think they haven't said, whether it's just their parents that they lie to or, or if it's everyone else as well. Because I'm definitely like an honesty first policy kind of person um so I would say you know if it's like not someone like your parents or someone who's going to be a bit more understanding then not to lie to them because if you lie as well that like I know they said that their parents aren't actually helpful helping they're just um very critical in a non-helpful and destructive way I think is, is the word that they use but like if for example it's at your job or at school if you don't tell people that you're struggling, then 
they're not going to be able to offer reasonable accommodations for you, like either giving you more time to do the things you need to do or giving you a shorter deadline to do the things. Because actually, when people have ADHD, it's not very helpful. Um, and again, I have it. It's not very helpful to say like, oh yeah, just do it whenever. Um, whenever you can get it to me is fine. That's not good because then you're incentivized to endlessly procrastinate because it's not important anyway. Because if it was important, then there would be some sort of time limit on it, right? Someone would expect to get it by a certain point or get it wherever or, or see results, whatever the case may be. So actually um, giving a shorter deadline can actually be helpful. Alternatively, it's, if it's like a huge project to arrange check-ins or um, like uh, sort of milestones in between where there's certain dates where you need to submit like a certain portion of whatever the project is and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, I mean, it sounds as if OP is just like giving themselves a hard time for something that is almost for sure just a result of their brain condition. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's a shame, but I know that a lot of people don't want to, again, I, I don't think treat is the right word, but for lack of a better term, a lot of people really don't want to treat their ADHD, not because it's not causing problems for them, but just because of like stigma and stuff, they feel as if they shouldn't or they're not allowed to, or they're like less of a human being or something, that they're inadequate if they need help or if they accept it, which is just, it's a shame, but you know, internal, internalized ableism is for sure a thing, so. Yeah, let's look at another one. Wait, what? I always buy the fancy, most expensive apples at the grocery store, but never pay for them. Are you are you buying them then, or are you just stealing them? I always buy the fancy, most expensive apples at the grocery store, but never pay for them. I've memorized the code 4131 for the apples that are the cheapest and I always use self-checkout. I haven't paid full price for my fancy apples in over 10 years. Oh my goodness. I mean... First of all, I do not encourage this because this is like a form of stealing. Especially like it's 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 even worse if it's like from um like a like a smaller business or like a local business, but if you've got self checkouts they're probably one of the bigger ones, but still, um it all trickles down, you know. Um so I don't approve of this at all, I don't condone it. However, that is pretty fucking smart because they still have weight and they're still apples. So if someone looks, it's like, oh, that's a fucking apple. You've got apples on your receipts, it's fine. Um, I mean, I don't, again, it's like, why, why do that? Because like, they could just have the cheaper apples. They could just have those, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Anyway, I'm not sure if I like um, the subreddit, to be honest, not that like it's got shit content, but just that there's not necessarily a lot for me to react to and say anything about it. I fake getting my period just so I can have breaks at work. I'm not going to read that because it's pretty self-explanatory and it's like people who fake stuff and lie about stuff that as like a genuine problem for other people, but they just lie about it for their own benefit. That's just discrediting everyone else who actually does have that issue and actually does need some sort of like accommodation or, or solution or whatever. I, I can't be bothered with that. And it's like such a stereotype as well. Oh, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> everyone thinks I'm working on my bachelor. Is it? Um, I stopped going to college six years ago. Oh, do you know what? Like. I mean, I'm not trying to hate on people's English because maybe it's not their first language, but like, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the first thing that popped into my head is like, maybe you should have stayed because you can't write in proper English. <sighs> I'm just teasing though. I'm just teasing. Let's read it. Oops. Didn't mean to do it that way. Do it this way. Yeah. Um, everyone thinks I'm working on my bachelor's 
degree. I stopped, I stopped going to college six years ago. I started college six years ago during my first semester I was able to get a part-time position inside my campus. I stopped going to college after I learned after I earned 13 credit hours so not even a week. During the last six years I've been able to move positions and nowadays I have a good job with good pay but everyone thinks I'm still working on my bachelor's. Why? It's been six years. Bachelors don't take that long, do they? Certainly in the UK they don't. Um, a regular bachelor's takes three years. If you get it with honours that's four years. So, okay, um, during the last years, I have lied to, ev oh my God, do you know, this, this is just bothering me because I can't like read it properly. Everything they ask about my career, I just lie to them. I tell them that I'm not able to afford a full term or four classes. Ah, okay, so spread out and that's why it's taking so long. Um, everyone is nice and told me I can wait to find, can't wait to find out. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna read this there's so many there's so many mistakes and typos and whatever it's actually annoying me <laughs> I stole 17 of my classmates computer passwords and signed into their stuff what that's not cool but you know sec ops security ops um I stole 17 of my classmates computer passwords and signed into their stuff they're only 13 and in eighth grade but I was in seventh grade at the time so not even a teenager and me and my friends were like the class clowns. One day I saw this hacker movie and I don't know why I did what I did next, but I texted my friend and told him we should steal our classmates passwords. He for some reason said yes and so we began to plan how we'd do it. Wow, so they're targeting an individual, it's not even that, like, they just happen to leave stuff somewhere. Mm. Seems quite malicious to be honest. Um, at first we just built phishing sites. Wow that we would send to people using spoof emails because it seems easier, but that when, but then, <laughs> when we realized it would be easy to tell it was a spoof. Well, actually, I've read that these, um, these people who put together like spoof emails and spam and all this kind of stuff, um, like, you know, you've got an, uh, like an ancestor, an unclaimed inheritance and all that kind of stuff. Um, apparently they actually on purpose make it really obvious that it's spam or that it's like phishing or something like that. Um, because then it's more likely that they'll only get responses from the kind of people who aren't like tech savvy enough or sex savvy enough to um, like realize that it's a scam and that they can like really take full advantage of them because if it was for example if they were getting a lot of replies from people who thought that the email was legit but maybe once they call the number or maybe like a couple of emails back and forth that they would then realize that it's a scam then it wastes the scammers time as well um yeah just a little nugget of information there um so after that realization, we both decided to come up with different ways to steal the passwords. That's when I remembered a simple trick to show me their passwords. All I would do was ask to help them with an assignment or just get on their PC when they left to use the bathroom or something. So it's like actually one of their friends. I don't know if that's better or worse. Then I'd go to sign in pages and edit so I could see passwords. Can you do that? What? Ah, so for example, like when the password is masked, but, oh sorry, when the password is masked and it's saved on the computer, so maybe they're not in, they're not logged in yet, but their password and username are like saved by the website, so they do have it somewhere in plain text. I'm interested to try that now, but let's finish reading this first. Um, I'd go to sign in pages and edit so I could see the passwords. The next thing I knew I had 15 passwords and my friend stole two. Uh, and this was in only in two class periods, so like in two hours maybe. Now me and my friend had each other's passwords by this time and I emailed his mum asking for his personal password from his account. Little did I know that would almost ruin everything. What? Social engineering as well? I mean this isn't moral but this kid's kind of bossing it. Um, 
Um, so that would almost ruin everything. So about a month later, my teacher kept saying me and my friend were copying each other's work and I told her we were not, even though I was taking some of his work. Now, later that day, I decided to check his email. Oh my God, so they're actually like, not even as if they wanted to do it just to see if they could and then be told the person, but they're actually like actively using stuff. Um, decided to check his email and what I saw made my heart drop. It was an email from his mum saying that someone hacked him and emailed her and my teacher said that someone was stealing his work. That's when his mum connected the dots and said that it was the same person. Now I've been in trouble many times for now I've been in trouble many times for stupid things. So if I was caught, my parents would have sent me to the academy for sure. Um, I guess the academy is like not a good place. Um, now really don't like typing so I won't get into detail about how we tricked the principal and his mum plus the annoying teacher but we somehow did. I really regret ever doing that because after I gained access to so many people's privacy, okay so they did it to multiple people and information, it just made me realise that people are messed up. Also if my grammar is bad or I spelled something wrong my phone sucks. Yeah I can tell that's fine, it's actually better than the college student one anyway. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, so as I say, I don't, I don't um, condone, of this, condone this kind of behaviour, I don't approve of it. Um, at the same time, this kid's obviously like developing some skills. And one thing that I always think of when I watch like documentaries and stuff about, you know, criminals and hackers and uh, stuff like that, people who make like fake cryptocurrency exchanges and stuff like that, I always think like, what a waste for people who must be somehow extremely intelligent to then, you know, spend that time, energy and skill on crime. Then again, I can understand why they do it because crime makes more money than legitimate means. And if you don't have any morals or care about anyone getting hurt, then that also gives you a lot more freedom to do what you want and make more money. Um, which I guess is appealing to some people. So what, what I'm getting at is that it's good then that this kid at some point has obviously realized that he shouldn't have done that. But it's kind of weird for me that they're saying, oh, it just made me realize how messed up people are. Like, do you mean you or the people whose privacy you violated? Like, mm. so it's basically like he's, uh, sorry, is it a he? I don't know. Where did I get that from? Um, unconscious bias. I don't think they did say. So he, she, her, they, whatever. Um, this person... Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so this person is like regretting what they did, but not because necessarily that they think that what they did was wrong, but just because they didn't like what they see. So mm, good that they stopped, but also was it for the right reasons? And also, like I understand them saying that they get in trouble a lot and they, you know, would have had poor consequences if they confessed, which, yeah, you should take responsibility and deal with the consequences, but they're only 13, so... And, you know, they would potentially have to change schools, it sounds like, which is a major thing. And, you know, I understand why they're not confessing to it. But, you know, if you also admitted it or even if you like set up a pop up account just to tell people, by the way, for sure, you have been hacked, change all of your passwords, you know, because not necessarily everyone will know that it happened to them or know exactly what it was that you were hacked into or they the hacker hacked into. Um, on that note, use password managers. Um, I must admit, I didn't start using one until much later than I should have for reasons. Um, I guess it was something I procrastinated on, but yeah, they're for sure um, a better way to manage your security for logins and stuff like that. Um, as I say, I'm kind of interested now, like what they were talking about. Um, stealing passwords from um, just like the login pages of websites. So if we go to Facebook, for example, oh, let me, let me English it. Oh no, that doesn't work. <laughs> then just facebook.com. Yeah. Um, decline optional cookies. So let's see if we put some email address and some password, 
with DevTools, is it possible to see it? Never tried it before. <gasps> Wait, what? Okay, so because I put in rubbish, I can't tell what, what it was, like whether it's um, worked or not. So actually, let me type it in this one. My very secure password lol. Okay, so we copy that, we put it into the password field. Oh, did you see that was changing? Why did that change? Or was it because I moved my mouse? Let me see. No, it's not doing it anymore. But, oh no, it doesn't like, no, it didn't change. It's just that stuff was being highlighted. Anyway, let's see if this appears anywhere. I'm interested. Um, put type password or pass label. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I'm not immediately seeing it. Um, I am not seeing anything like what we put in. Put this. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what this person was talking about. I mean, I would have been surprised if um, it was what I thought it could be, but yeah. Autocomplete stuff. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway, I mean, I think it's good as well that this person, um, sorry. <laughs> I think it's good anyway that the person didn't actually reveal how they did it because yeah, you don't want to be encouraging other people to do it as well. But I was just really curious to see that. Um, in any case, let's do one more or let's read one more. Hmm. When asked for my receipts, what? Let me see. Where am I? When asked for my oh, I read it. Receipts, recipes. When asked for my recipes of one of my signature cakes or dishes, I will leave out some important things on purpose to make sure no one gets it right. Why don't you just say no? Just say it's like a secret recipe, and you don't want to. Um, so yes, I admit I'm doing it on purpose and to make sure no one will exactly be able to recreate it. And double yes, I'm pleased when people later tell me it's similar to mine, uh, but it had some magic missing. So maybe they liked that sort of nice ego boost. Um, and instead of making it themselves, ask me to bring it along next time. I will for sure provide an original recipe for the cake or dish with whom I started often years back. What? Um, anyway, but those tiny little adjustments I made with trial and error over many, many attempts are my secret. For example, with my lemon cheesecake, the original says add X amount of cream cheese and X amount of whipped cream. With my adjustment, you add less from one and more from the other. And instead of just white sugar, I use half. This is really detailed. Um, uh, it's, it is not that I will screw completely with people, not with prices for groceries what um what i don't understand why this person is like talking about a bunch of other things that i don't understand um so this is just all getting really into the details petty and slightly evil some childish rival thing with sister-in-law hell yes and i regret nothing and for you who might wonder, yes, my husband knows it and takes his own fun out of this, out of it regarding a sister. But if I ever happen to have a child that loves cooking or baking, I will make sure he or she will be gifted every single one of my recipes when the time is right. Hmm. I mean, like, if they're trying to, like, get one over the sister-in-law, like, again, I don't approve of that, but I guess I can understand it. But it seems as if they just do it with everyone. Like, genuinely, why don't you just say... Like, sorry, I don't give out my recipes. <laughs> um, what did you think of this one? I'm not sure if I like this subreddit, to be honest. Just because it is just, like, people saying their shit and then me just reading it, like, there's not a lot for me to add to it. 
Although I know that there are channels out there who literally just read the story in the comments. They don't provide any of their own commentary, but that's boring for me. So I'm not sure if I'll do this one again, but let me know what you think in the comments. And also if there are any other subreddits that you think will be good for me to actually respond with something to. Um, until then, you can watch some of my other videos that I have on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.